Let me put a crowd to somebody I can help, though, because I can't help stupid people. I would like to put this crowd to a couple of people, to all women that are married to preachers, especially pastors, and to the women that are sleeping with these pastors. <clears throat> I want y'all to think about something for a second. You are detrimental to the Most High's work because you think that you're doing something and you think that the Most High approves of it. He does not approve what you're sleeping with your leader. That's spiritually retarded. That's right. That is a detriment. There's no way you could be saved and no way in the world your preacher could be saved. Amen. Even in the book of Samuel, you'll find when, when um, right. Eli came That's to his right. sons and found out that they lay with the women by the door, he said, this thing is not good. Right. It's not good for you to lay with your leader, baby. It's a matter of time. Most high God going to kill you. Also, I want you to think about something. If he lay with you, he going to lay with somebody else in baby. You going to get old party, dog. He going to get rid of you. You going to get hurt. He already laying with somebody else. He disrespect his wife. Think about that man don't respect his wife and his kids to be out there laying with you. And he's sitting up preaching and calling himself teaching God work. He's a candidate for hell and you going to buzz hell over with him. That's right. To the wife that married to these preachers that sleep with these people. You're a detriment to the most high God plan. Why? Because you said and you cover him up. You know this is despicable and deplorable. You know that he not saying you live with. You hear profanity. You see it drinking. You see it smoking. You know that he is spirit that raping these people. Y'all living on the backs of these people. And you ought to know you're going to burn in hell with it. Don't let how many kids you got with him hold you to sit in there and say, what are you going to do? What are you going to do when you go to hell? Those people are watching you and they say, well, why is still with him? Maybe he's not doing it. You are detriment, and it's just a matter of time for you and him go to hell. Now, to the friends of these people that tell them to stay in there in the house, you got a good thing going, girl. Don't leave him. You are detriment to the most high God plan. You are approving and putting a stamp on something and encouraging something that is contrary to the most high God's word. It's a matter of time for God to cut you off or your very own husband man wind up cheating on you with your stupid self. Mm. Who are going to say something about it? Not many. Not many. I put a cry to these people. Amen. I'm trying to tell these folk, once again, I did forget to tell these people. Can I get like a ringtone? <laughs> Hello? This is an attempt to collect a debt. Anything you say can and will be you in collecting that debt. This call may not be recorded. It's going to be recorded, and it's going to come up against you in the day of judgment because you heard the sound of the trumpet, and you still stayed in there, and you didn't seek to save your life.